Ladies and gentlemen, a Bay Area news anchor by the name of Frank Somerville has been pulled off the air over a dispute over the Gabby Petito coverage. Let me give you guys a little backstory. He worked for KTVU, which is a Fox-owned TV station, and it's out of Oakland, California. KTVU news anchor Frank Summers was removed from air as he attempted to shed light on the phenomenon known as missing white woman syndrome. Gabby Petito's missing person and homicide case has garnered massive amounts of media attention since her disappearance in August, leading some to question why similar cases of missing women of color have not received the same coverage. Some believe it's an example of missing white syndrome, where missing white women and girls are more heavily focused in the media than missing colored women. According to a source at KTVU, Somerville asked the television station if he could speak on the phenomenon, hoping to add a short sidebar to the story highlighting how black women in America experience higher rates of domestic violence than white women. KTVU denied Somerville's request, citing that it was inappropriate to link the story of domestic violence before any suspects have been convicted. The news anchor was indefinitely suspended the following day. However, it's not clear what transpired when his request was denied. Now, one thing to note is that Frank Somerville has an adopted black child. So, Every black person that I spoke to on this matter, every one of them pretty much agree that Gabby Petito is getting a lot of coverage because she's white. That's what a lot of black folks believe. And me and Ray did a video just the other day speaking about why black people have this feeling. And then in the comment section, people were talking about black people do get coverage and it's because this could happen to anybody and then started bringing up George Floyd. Now, for me personally, I don't see why you would bring George Floyd up in this conversation because George Floyd was a situation of a homicide. Literally on camera, you saw the man getting killed. This is a situation that started off as a missing person's case. Now, when they first got pulled over, it was led to believe that some kind of altercation has happened, but you, nobody ever saw it. Case in point, why I'm saying this. Let's look at the Ray Rice situation. When Ray Rice punched his wife and knocked her out in the elevator, People heard about it, but a big deal wasn't made out of it. It wasn't until we saw the video footage of what actually happened, that's when the uproar started. So, in the case of Gabby Petito, trust me when I tell you, I feel sorry for that family. I think what happened to her was very atrocious. And the guy, Brian Laundry, who everybody's calling Dirty Laundry, he needs to be apprehended and justice needs to be served. Quick, fast, in a hurry. No question about it. But people in the black community is not turning a blind eye to the media coverage that this story is receiving. Now, even with the George Floyd situation, the news outlets wasn't covering it as much. People on social media was covering it. You heard about it. You turned to YouTube and everything to watch it. But as far as the media coverage, the media coverage was not as wide span as it is right now for this case. I get it, she was on social media promoting the van life and everything like that. I get that 100%. But when she was missing, every day there was news coverage on it. There's so many black kids, black women, black men that are missing and get no media coverage. And the thing is, this story right here helps perpetuate that belief that since she's white, she's getting the media coverage. Because here you have a man who's a news anchor who just wants to bring up the conversation and he was denied and then suspended. And that's the problem that people in the black community are facing on a daily basis. Whenever black people want to bring up the conversation about what they're going through and how they feel that it's unfair, people want to turn around and say, oh, you haven't been a slave or try and make comparisons to try and shut that person up. So in a nutshell, that make the person just be like, you know what, let me not say nothing. And that's the thing. Black folks, we've been going through this problem of not saying nothing because what we're saying is going unheard. That's the reality of the situation. Look at what happened at Capitol Hill. Why did Capitol Hill actually happen? Yeah, we understand it was Donald Trump who was perpetuating voter F. I don't wanna say the word because of YouTube reasons, but the crooks of it, those people felt like their voices weren't being heard. So you look at a group of people who felt like their voices weren't being heard for an election. So just imagine a group of people for over 400 years is feeling like their voices aren't being heard. And I always say this, when it comes to the Holocaust, when it comes to the LBGTQ community, you gotta be careful with the things that you say so that you don't offend anybody. But other than the N word in reality, people don't care about offending black people. And at the end of the day, it comes down to you weren't a slave, so what's your excuse? Yeah, but you can't tell a group of people how to feel. 
And instead of listening to hear and understand why this person feel that way and then try to speak to them in an intelligent way to make them know, hey, that's not the case. But no, they either wanna silence them or attack them. And what does that do to that person? You automatically go into defensive mode. And once you go into defensive mode, at that point, what are we accomplishing here? We're pretty much going tick for tat. And this in no way is saying that the people are making it a racial issue. No, 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 no. I understand that the people in social media, they figure, hey, this could happen to anybody. I get that 100%. But what this story tells us with this news anchor being suspended is that media is making it a race issue. And here's the thing. Once this case started getting the media coverage that it was getting, that's when you saw black people started coming to the realization of other black people that are missing, which is why in the last video, I mentioned Daniel Robinson. I mentioned Jelani Day, but some people will say, oh, Oh, those are guys so we're not really worried about them too too much all right then how about Mariah Edwards 17 years old missing Sharita Chambers 35 years old left her Texas home never came back missing Asia Wilburn 16 years old been missing since February 2020 and we don't hear no media coverage about any of these people see the media coverage would probably help find these people because a lot of crimes that are solved nowadays it's people that point the police in the right direction. But yet, the media is not covering these people. Let's look at Daniel Robinson and Jelani Day. Those are two people that there's been a huge public outcry for. Have you seen them in the media or anything like that? No, I haven't seen no coverage of them in the media. So let's not act like there's not propaganda in the media that do things to racially divide us. So if you ask me in the public eye, does this Gabby Petito story seem to be race driven? Absolutely not. But if you ask me, is this Gabby Petito story race driven in the media? 1000%. I mean, for you to have a news anchor who wanna speak on the matter, just bring it up and it's suspended indefinitely. If that's not a form of censorship, I don't know what is. I mean, just look at the story I did on Ivory Hecker, how she was speaking about how the media was censoring her. So if the media can censor her, what makes you think they can't do things that are race driven? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'd love to hear your take on it. If you agree, disagree. For those who is their first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Definitely like and share the content. And if you wanna show your support to the channel, consider becoming a member. And if you wanna see our raw, unfiltered, uncensored content, join our locals, the link is in the description. I'm Walls P, this is Matter of Opinion, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of opinion.